welcome to today's video. We are unboxing the new MacBook Air from Apple. Right now, you could get a great deal on this from Apple's website if you are a student. It is a $100 discount on the MacBook Air. You get a free pair of AirPods, or you could upgrade to the new AirPods Pros for an additional $90, and you get 20% off Apple Care on this. So right now, it's a great deal for this. Um, and let's get to the unboxing. All right, so now with the new Apple packaging, you have a tab right here, and this is, allows you to tear it open like so. Now, like I said, this is your base model. It is a 13 inch MacBook Pro. It comes with a 1.1 gigahertz processor with a up to a turbo of to 3.2 gigahertz. We have an eight, gigabyte, eight gigabytes of RAM, and it comes with now 256 store of storage on an SSD, which is a big upgrade. Uh, my last MacBook was in 2015, and it was as a base model as well, but now looking at the new MacBook Airs, they are really nicely upgraded. Um, on the MacBook Air, you only get two Thunder ports of Lightning Thunder ports on this. There you go. So, and here you go, you have a MacBook Pro, very nicely packaged, and you get this nice little tab that allows you to lift up the MacBook. And I decided to get, opt out for the nice space gray MacBook, and it looks very, very nice. So we're gonna place this just to the side real quickly, and we're gonna look what Apple gives you inside the box. So you have this nice lightning USB-C um, cable, so it is not lightning, um, docks anymore or your um, your old standard of charging on the MacBook it is now all USB-C's. You also have your design by Apple in California. Um, this pretty much tells you all the documentation and everything that comes in it. So underneath your documentation, you have your charging brick by Apple. Now you can also, since this is USB-C, you can also use this to charge up your iPhone. Um, you need just a USB-C to Lightning because on the iPhones we still use Lightning connectors on it. But now I know on the newer iPhones it comes with the USB to Lightning connector for that fast charging. And we place that to the side, and for pretty much it, and that's pretty much it in the box. That is the unboxing pretty much for this. Now let's before we get into the unbox the tutorial of the MacBooks and it up, we're gonna go through the Apple designed by Apple California package. So what they pretty much give you is an Apple Airbook little booklet telling you about all the system of it, what it has, the keyboard layout, and everything as well. From there, you have your earlier documentation, get your notorious Apple, Apple stickers. Um, these are in a, actually a space gray that matches the MacBook instead of your typical white ones they send you. And underneath here, this looks like that's it. That is it. So it's just any three type of paperwork now that comes with the MacBook. Um, and pretty much everything else is gonna be done through the setup process on the MacBook. So let's get into that now. All right, so now we got the MacBook very nicely wrapped in this nice plastic that comes with it. So all you have to do is same thing. It has a tab right here, flip this over and you just pull it off like so. Now you have your MacBook. A nice space gray MacBook Pro. Place that down. And what I like about the MacBook is with one finger, you can just place open it up like so. And right away, your MacBook turns on. It has this nice cover on it to protect the screen. And there you have it. Your MacBook is now turned on. All right, so once you get your MacBook set up and turn it on for the first time, it's gonna tell your language. Um, we speak English, regular English, so we're going to click English and head to next. All right, after you select English, it's going to tell you where are you from. We live in the United States, so that's ready to click for you and ready to go to next. Next, now we're going to choose our Wi Fi, so let's just go do this. So once you connect to your Wi Fi, it's just tell you your data and privacy. You click continue. And from there, you're gonna have the option to either transfer your, from your old Mac into your new Mac from your time machine backup that Apple provides, 
or from a window PC, or you click don't transfer any information now, which we're going to go with. So once you get to that screen, now you're going to sign into your Apple ID. So when, once you signed into your Apple account, it's going to tell you to the terms and condition when using it and the Mac OS software license agreement, your game center terms and condition, and your warranty. You will click to agree with it. So once you once you set up your name and your account and set up your password for your computer, you will start setting up with your iCloud. So just give us a few seconds. All right, once you set up with that, you have the option to set up with your iCloud keychain. Uh, pretty much what the iCloud keychain does, it keeps your password and your credit card information saved on the data that on the devices you will prove. So pretty much what I like to do, I like to use my iCloud uh, keychain. It comes really in handy when you log into a website and you haven't logged in in a long time and you forgot your username and your password. Well, three months ago, you saved this, so it knows it already has a save for you, which I honestly love. So we are gonna use iCloud keychain and we're gonna go on to the next step. So once that, then we have your find mine. Um, pretty much it's gonna be find your iPhone, laptop, AirPods or whatever. Uh, so it's pretty much sending you and allowing you to um, access your find your iPhone um, on this MacBook. And once you're done, then you have an express setup and you can go to pretty much what you want to do is you could either do customized settings or you could do the express settings which uh, we're going to do customized settings uh, so pretty much it allows you to enable your location service on the macbook um, i like to share my um, analytics with apple um, pretty much allows them to um, if anything happens something crashes or something you could send it to apple and then for future updates, they're able to fix it for you. They fix the up uh, the problems um, later on. Uh, so we're gonna go to continue on your screen time. Uh, we're gonna enable um, Ask Siri, and we're gonna set up Hey Siri later. Um, improve um, share audio recordings. We're gonna click Not Now. And now we're gonna to come to all your files and photo and iCloud. So you have iCloud, which I do. Um, you could get up to 50 gigabytes for only 99 cents a month, which is a great deal. Um, so we're just gonna continue. So we wanna store files and documents to iCloud Drive and save photos and videos. Now we come to our, our file vault. This um, pretty much we're gonna leave this on pretty much. And now we have what's cool about this I, iMac, um, the MacBook Air, it comes with Touch ID. Now the only difference between this MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro is that you don't get the full touch bar um, that comes with it. You get your regular analog keys, which I like better. Uh, but you do over here in this corner, do get your Touch ID, which is very nice. So we're gonna to go to continue and we're also going to set this up later on within the settings itself. Um, and it's gonna just ask you, are you sure you don't wanna set up Touch ID? Um, we're gonna click continue. Cause you could again do all of this later with the Hey Siri and the Touch ID. Now you have Apple Pay. Now on your MacBook Pro, on your MacBook Pro Air as well. And I was just gonna go to continue. All right, so once you set up your Apple Pay, it's gonna tell you to choose your look. You do a dark, a light look, a dark look, or auto, which you can also see right now. So you have your light mode, and if you go to dark mode, it's gonna look like this, which I really like a lot more. It gives it a nicer look to it. So we're gonna go to dark mode, and we're gonna hit next. And from there, you have your true tone, tone display. Um, pretty much a, that your MacBook adapts to the ambient light condition. So you have a little, if you're outside, it's gonna adjust the screen color and it's gonna adjust the screen brightness for you. So we're gonna click continue. And now we're just setting up your Mac. Um, it's just setting up all the process, all the information that you put into it already. And it's gonna set it up for you and it should take a, a, maybe a minute or so.
And there you go, your MacBook is set up and ready to go. Um, so to make sure you always wanna check if your MacBook is up to date. Um, the best way to do that is you go up down, up to your top left corner to the Apple logo, click about this Mac, and we're gonna go to software update. This is pretty much what it says allow you to show you. And as you can see, there is an update already that you need to do. Um, a lot of the time, nine out of 10 times, your MacBook is gonna need to update um, straight out of the box. I always recommend updating your MacBook for a computer up today on the latest um, software and, and have no bugs or anything like that. And this is guys, your unboxing and your tutorial of how to set up your new MacBook Air. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time in the next video.